Hi there everybody, this is Farmer Bob and welcome, welcome to my channel, welcome to another map making video, I believe this will be video number 8, um, yeah thanks for watching man, thanks for, for uh, taking the time and hopefully these, uh, this series is not too boring, <laughs> if, if, if map making is not your thing please do go through my content under the videos and the playlists, there's a lot of stuff to watch, um, yeah there's a lot of stuff on farming and, and all the nice interesting things so uh, yes um, if you haven't subscribed yet please do so it really helps me out and um, go to my website there is a link on the description for my website there you can um, obviously download all my content my maps everything that I'm doing you can see there on my on my website and my blog page and everything there yes thank you once again man um, great so yes uh, this is obviously video number seven and the map we're making is tiny called tiny and this is version one now you might wonder how we got this this is in the mod disk that I've just quickly edited just to have that showing there I will quickly show you once we once we get through everything all right so let's just quickly get into the map and then we can uh, get stuck in all right so so today's episode is all about uh, testing, uh, seeing how the XMLs is um, XMLs is doing, and if there's any errors, I I really always expect, <laughs> although it's always nice if there isn't, but um, but yeah, we will just see how it's going. Now, in order to to see the log file, you press your tilde key. If for those of you who don't know the tilde key, it's the key left of the the one button on your keyboard. It's that little one with the sine wave. It's like a, a, a ocean wave on it. So you just press that, and uh, up will come the the tilde key of the um, the log as it's as it's happening. There it is. For some reason, we've got a big thing loading here. I don't know what is taking so long, but there you go. Um, right, and we can clearly already see one error up there. Um, there you go. Let's just see as it progresses. And then we we'll quickly work work through them. Good. When you see the start coming up, you you know you at the end of the thing. So so whatever errors is there, um, we will work through them all. Now this this log is also found in your um, in your game directory under your um, where your mods is and all that. Um, I'm just trying to think. It's not the game directory, but it's your your documents directory where your mods is. Um, you will find the log. Um, let me quickly show you that it's much easier to show you than to talk about it so if we go to documents uh, my games I think my games is the path to it and then farming simulator 2019 and here you'll find your log now this is the error log so if ever you have any errors in your game you can just open this log and view it so once we once we finished with testing we will come to this log to to check all the errors so I'm not going to take the time now to see what it all is uh, we obviously know there's a, there is one or two or maybe a few I don't know <laughs> we'll see just now now to get rid of the log you just press the tilde once again you can type uh, uh, don't type exit there because it will take you out of the game so you just hit the tilde once again and voila you're out great guys so here we are I'm, I'm having a nice cup of Milo or coffee if you whatever you feel like take take the time and relax with me as we quickly test our map so let's press start okay now this is all the the intro stuff you just get that out of the way good one thing we still need to edit is obviously the starting position we haven't um, um, set that up yet it's in the editor where you can set your starting position um, first things first let's get our flight on so we can uh, so that we can uh, just get some progress okay clearly um, first few things um, to notice the the horse uh, the, all the animal paddocks is not here okay F reason being is we forgot to load them in the XML so <laughs> this is what happens this is exactly what it will look like in your start from scratch um, start from scratch mode um, the horse paddocks and the the cows and the pigs and the sheep and everything will not be there 
our um, our uh, form form bin loaded uh, form silos sorry that definitely loaded um, we didn't put the all the sheets the sheets is not in the XML so that's another thing we forgot to do the workshop is a problem uh, the work, workshop should because we did load the workshop so there's definitely a problem with the workshop now I'm gonna make a note here on the side I just want to open a page here in my in my book uh, so that I can uh, make some notes what we need to fix and check so the first thing is our uh, animals okay I'm writing them down as we go number two is the workshop so those we need to check to see why they didn't load well we know the, the animals didn't load because um, because it's uh, not there if <laughs> we didn't put them we forgot to put them in the XML okay F11 we just switch off flight mode first thing let's test our house our house did load correctly by the looks of it oh and we've got some grass growing in the house so let me just make a note of that grass in the house okay so that's stuff we need to fix and that's always a good thing to do when whenever you test your maps is make a note because you're going to forget things so write them down as you see them and voila you will definitely um, not have a problem uh, forgetting them you know so that's a list that we need to fix and there will always be stuff don't worry <laughs> all right so if we press r we should have um, the resting and yep we're not tired now so that the house is working perfect no problems with the house good stuff i'm very happy about that right now f11 um i think the first thing we need to do is get some money uh let's just load a million or oh, how many ever bucks there all right and then we want to purchase uh let's just put, purchase a tractor i normally just go for a jcb because they're nice and fast um i can buy one of those yes because we're going to use that to test our cell point and our uh, all the all the stuff that we need to fill you know right and also a tipper uh, or a trailer rather not a tipper uh, i just want to go for the cramper and go yes okay Mm. sorry guys i couldn't resist i'm thirsty <laughs> did we buy it now <laughs> yes we did okay press the tab to jump into the tractor and yes look at our uh, shop our shop is working fine Rem remember we set the uh, the vehicle placement when you buy a vehicle uh, we set that um, the three positions where, where, where vehicles will be placed and that is working fine the shop icon if we press r here yep we should get the shop so the shop uh oops sorry what happened now for some reason when i come came out there <laughs> i was inside of the trailer <laughs> anyways good so that is working fine so our shop is operational good 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 so let's just hook up our trailer Oh, sorry, man, not E. So reverse close there. Q. Right. Good. So we will test our garage. Um, I just first need to drive the tractor a little bit to make some space for fuel, because at the moment um, it's full and we might not see any um, any fuel being loaded. You know. So the first thing to test is uh let's do the um, let's do this uh um, the cell point first and then we'll do the sawmill just to uh get an idea and this is the first time we drive on our map hey eh, guys this we're getting close now to to having the map playable you know right so what we're going to do is just quickly fill our trailer with um, let's some maybe use wheat it doesn't matter and immediately when you drive over the cell point and you get the start overloading uh, icon there at the bottom you know that everything is going to be fine <laughs> good great stuff here we go and you can see the money going up there so our cell point is definitely working fine great so i'm just going to make a quick u-turn here 
so everything there is kosher very kosher right now let's do this our sawmill now first things first we need to get some wood we want to uh, want to get some wood going um, let's drop a few logs here uh, where's that logs I think it's in front here we go let's make it three meter logs Whoop. Ah, I suppose this two is fine we just want to see if it's sell if it's selling so go to the icon press R and yes and they are gone so okay I saw more log selling is working great next up next up next up next up is our, um, our wood chipper or rather the wood chip sales I could have actually just gone around the building in the back well, it would have actually been easier then. <laughs> oh my gosh right so let's just fill this with some wood chips um, the ground no uh, sorry back to the trailer we want to get some uh, wood chips where is it I've now gone all the way behind <laughs> right and uh, yes it looks like it's going to work fine our money is going up so the sell point is working it's actually the tip trigger that's working great okay so while we're here let's quickly go and test the garage we have driven quite a we haven't really driven that much yet but we might have to we might be able to to add one liter of diesel or something of the kind you know let's just see if our border is working remember our border is here yeah <laughs> our border is working fine good um, always nice to just make sure stuff is working you know when you don't have uh, have problems on the way everything you test you know you know works so that's it and while I'm here I'm just reminded now of the fence behind the dealership we need to uh, fix the fence behind the dealership so I'm going to write that down just now nice pull in here just want to write dealership fence Okay, good. Then we don't forget. Press R. Yes, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> okay, so yes, our, our fuel uh, station is working or gas station, whatever you want to call that. Right, I'm going to, instead of driving around, just take a dump, jump over into, um, into the uh, field number one, which is, saves us some time driving all around, way around the map. On the other hand, it's actually good to drive around because then um, you might notice some stuff that's not there and not working, you know. So, um, always good to drive around the whole map and have a look around. But yeah, for the sake of the video and not uh, not wasting too much time, uh, I'll just do it like that. Okay, so now uh, let's quickly... Uh, I could have just ran here, man. It's much quicker than to drive. Alright, so uh, bales. Let's go for a straw bale and a hay bale. That should be fine. Oh, and then obviously we need some super strength because otherwise um, we won't uh, we won't be able to pick it up. Oh, no, yeah, no, yeah. it is working. Nice man. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Okay, so those cell points are all working. And then we need the cotton bale for this. Uh, cotton bale for this. Oops, there it was. Cotton square. And uh, obviously you want to pick this up. Chuck it in there. And our cotton is working. 
Great, man. Awesome. Okay, so everything here is working. Now we want to just quickly have a look at um, our mini map. How our mini map is displaying the spinnery, the barn is good, the house is good, the animal dealer is good, Northwind Granaries is working, uh, the sawmill is working, the uh, gas station is working, except for the um, shop. The shop's right here by the gas station. Okay, so shop. This is number five on my thing is shop icon. It's not displaying. So the only thing I can think um only thing I can think is um we'll have to have a look at the, the actual shop itself in the um in the game um in the XML so we'll have a look around in there. Good, right man, so it doesn't seem too crazy, everything, we've got all the basics working, so yeah, just one or two problems, great, so let us uh, quit the game, we don't have to save, because we're going to do changes on it anyway, great, so that is cool man, that is really cool, great, so now, let's go to Tiny and see what's going on here, um, Right, the mod desk. Remember, I told you um, I'm going to show you what how to display your map name in the mod desk. So that's very simple. You just go here to the mod desk at your dis the author and version. Um, my screen is doing some funny things now, and then I just want to quickly just wiggle this HDMI cable of mine. I think something's not nice there. Anyways, um, the title is Tiny Version 001. Um, if you don't have this section in your mod desk, you can add it, title, and then just put your title in there. And then version, obviously, and author. If, if you don't have those in your, it should be there. If you look at the base game one, I'm um, going to open this in a new window. Uh, if you go into the base game uh, data uh, maps, you should have a mod desk. Where is the mod disk for active map US items? Could it be that it's in here? Game XML? I don't think that's the mod disk, but input choices that's just the game itself, but nothing to do with our things that we want. I'm not going to spend too much time looking for it because we're just wasting time, guys. Uh, maps. It should actually, it should actually be here by maps. Am I just missing it? Map D E X and L. Items farmland. Helpers spray. No, that's the game XML. All right. Anyways, if you don't have those in your mod list, you can just add them, and voila, you will have all that stuff showing up. Good. So, uh, so next things um, we want to have a look at that log file. So let's go back to the maps, uh, and we go to our game, and we go to our log file. All right. So here we will have another thing actually explaining to us the errors we have um, it will say it will say error in front or it will say um, warning one of the two error index okay so we are looking for the animated objects.xml now the animated objects.xml is an xml that gives functionality to your doors, your triggers, and all that. Now, obviously, uh, this maps X um, is not set up. So what we're going to have to do is obviously find where it uh, points to our animated objects and put that, uh, the base game one, in there. So that is a simple fix. Um, let us go to the... Um, tiny directory and I'm gonna guess that's in our game XML which will be map 01.xml in my case and then we look for the thing that says animated objects 
animated objects, animated objects. Control F is the easiest. Animated. Um, and I don't have anything in here called animated objects. Could it be in the mod disk then? Let's have a look in the mod disk. Sorry guys, I'm uh, I'm uh, just faffing around a bit now. Let's have a look. Yeah, animated. No, this is just vehicles. Animated clock, source file. Can we come back to our farm silo? We've never tested our farm silo. Oh my gosh, I forgot. There must be a place where the, um, the animated objects gets done. All right, so let's just look at the error itself. Not found in... So it's E, backups, in my documents, my games, forms, mods, tiny maps. So it's under tiny maps, animated objects. That is where it stores tiny maps animated objects. Um, that's the actual file location. So I think to fix the problem, let's just copy the game animated objects.xml into that. So it's maps and then it should be animated objects. So this one, uh, oh yeah, you see it's totally empty. That's no wonder. There's no, no, no nothing, nothing in the file. So what we're going to do, just go into our actual game. Um, Farming similar to 19 and then let's just search here for animated sorry typing with one one um, finger animated objects huh animated objects am I spelling it correctly oh wait Let's copy this file here. It must be in the game directory, guys. Um, can't can't be not in here. Let's search for it. It says there's nothing there. So let's look in this directory. Yeah. Okay, that is strange. That is very strange. Well, guys, uh, yes, I think uh, we'll to try and keep the video shorter uh, for the for the future, uh, between 20 to 25 minutes. Going to try around there. Um, yes, it's been an exciting, um, how can I say, um, video series. Been wonderful, um, you guys having uh, joining and and watching. Thanks so much for all the comments and the, and the tips and all the things. You guys are awesome. Um, please remember to subscribe and uh, yes, um, until next time to the next video. Have a wonderful day. This is Farmer Bob. Cheers.